Early morning shopping since we didn't get to go this weekend. We're gonna go today and get the food for the week. Right, Avery? Come on, Mama. <laughs> Dropped off Phoenix. It's a nice sunny day. Can go food shopping, Mama? Yeah. She slept. She slept a lot. She slept past. We all woke up like at 7:20. She was still sleeping. Hey guys, so we're back from Walmart. We had to come in through the garage because they're fixing the front porch. They're redoing it or something. I don't know. So I had to bring in the bags, bring up Avery, sit her down, bring up the rest of the bags, and then the slide is in that hallway. So I had to take it downstairs because I have, if I, I don't know when they're going to be done. So if I have to pick up Phoenix and bring him in through the garage, I don't want him to see where we have it. So I had to bring it downstairs. I wanted to put it on top of the washer and then like clothes. We have like curtains in front of it. So I'm going down the stairs with it and it like hit my toe and I like tripped forward. It's really hard to explain because I, I was holding it. And so I went forward and it fell and stopped and then I fell kind of like on top of it and it hit my head really hard. I'm surprised I don't have, it's been a while now so you can't really see like the, I had it was really really red and I felt dizzy for a little bit and I sat down and then I got up and I was fine but I hadn't eaten so I had to eat and stuff so I don't know crazy anyway um I just bought a bag of rice and I put it into this this is where I, I keep my rice and it's crazy because this thing is my mom was my mom's this is where she kept her rice and it's just it's like it's such a little like a stupid thing like it's a container and like I just every time I put rice in it I think about her and this was the same little cup that she had in it that she used to scoop out the rice and I don't know it's such a minimal thing but I like that I still have it and it's still something of hers like and it like not that oh I want Avery to have this but like these little things like this I hope that when God forbid I'm not here anymore my kids have and think of me and it's like oh my mom used to have a rice I, I remember every time mommy made rice and we saw the red container come out and that's where she poured it and it's just like I just wonder what memories and things my kids are going to hold on to of me is that weird I don't know also well, there's a whole bunch of guys outside my window also this thing right here it's like a big vase and it has like all these sticks and decor it was my mom's too and she had it and it's like I will always have it even if it doesn't match I never want to take the sticks out because that's how she put them in that's how she arranged them and every time like it gets in my way and I'm like oh, I'm just gonna throw this out John's like no you know and I have a thing downstairs I used to have it up here like um china cabinet no it's not a china cabinet a display case thing that was hers too and she really wanted that I remember she wanted it for so long and then somebody was selling it in our building and she, she managed to find somebody to bring it over to the house and she was so excited about it and loved where she had it in the corner and I can still remember walking down the hall and always seeing it in that corner with all her stuff in it and we have it downstairs now because we don't have the room for it but I, I had her urn in there and stuff. But it's just nice to have these little tiny reminders like even if it's like a spoon or it, John's funny because he said this the other day he said when I die you're gonna <laughs> there's this spoon that he swears was his that he brought it from his house but I know that this was in my house because even when my half sister moved in with me she loved this spoon too but this was from my house John says it was sermon anyway this is John's spoon he loves using this so the other day he's like oh, I don't know if it was him who said it or me but like that you know God forbid he dies before me which he told me the other day he hopes that he dies first because he can't imagine living without me <clears throat> as selfish as it sounds he said so he said that I think I said it I don't know who said it but that the kids are gonna go to use it I'm gonna be like no that's daddy's spoon don't use that spoon he said I'm gonna like flip out over a spoon or something but it's it's true God forbid something were to happen to him I would see this spoon and just think of him just like I see this red container and remember my mom and it's something so minimal and I have a lot of tiny minimal things of my mom right now I can't remember but that's definitely one of them and I'm always gonna keep this and hope it never breaks and it's just so let me know if I'm crazy or if you kind of understand what I mean and you try to hold on to those little treasures like there's like uh, certain cups or little things that I have of my mom's that 
you know I don't like to get rid of but anyway I'm putting the rest of this laundry laundry I'm not putting laundry away groceries away I have to do these dishes and ugh. so I bought these to put on the window well I'm gonna put these on the door and these on the window thank god Venus is not home because look at this they're just using the loudest machine ever it is a mess out there I hope it's just for today but I doubt it so I'm gonna put these on the window and then these on the door whenever I can open the door. So I don't think I can open the door. This. Oh my god, it's gonna oh, you're taking up the sidewalk pretty well. Wow, pretty crazy. Are they gonna put a whole new sidewalk? Interesting. They do a lot of good landscaping around here though. Like they really take care of things. There's gonna be leaf removal soon and stuff like that with the snow leaves quickly. So let's put these notes. This is lucky. I have a caution sign. <laughs> and that thing is all crooked. I guess they made a new. This is new, but I honestly don't remember what it looked like before. <laughs> it looks like it's a higher up, but I don't think they put that much concrete. Like, made a whole new one. I think they just smoothed it. I don't know what that is all about, but look at all this mess. I'm assuming they're either on lunch. Or they're gone for the day and they're gonna come back tomorrow. I don't know. I'm gonna put the hey. I'm gonna put the little things on the window now. I didn't put these before. I don't know why. What happened? I think I had to change the recycler. Avery here, you wanna help mom up? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna put them up. So I got the right paper today when I went to Walmart. Yay! What color is that, Avery? Purple. Say purple. Purple. <laughs> and so I get, just ripped out a sheet and gave it to her. I'm going to make her something to eat. And she's liking it. <gasps> and it's like regular paper. So it's not like they'll be like, oh, what is this? Like, look. And she just wrote and it didn't write on here. This is awesome. Go ahead. <gasps> oh, is that purple? Let's give you another color. Let's see what other color you know. And then these are the ones I, I had bought last time though, for the wrong paper not all of them though even though it doesn't really matter i guess can you say green <laughs> say green Bye. green Bye. here you go i like to put the top on the go back go. so it doesn't get lost but go ahead right with that one go ahead she always wants like a whole bunch of them whoa is that one green all done i'm <laughs> gonna be here forever if you want to take all of them yeah, you want all of them here. Yeah. Oh, I just got to Phoenix's school. Avery just fell asleep as I parked, so um, it's two thirty-six. They get out like at two fifty, more or less. And you can see the door. I'm always nervous to leave her in the car, though. Even if I'm right there, I might just stand like on this side like right here and then when I see him actually come out um, I cross and grab him because I would like for her to sleep at least 20 minutes or maybe I can have another mom walk him over to me or something I would never ask I don't know I'm embarrassed I don't I'm not close enough to anybody where I'd be like can you walk him to me she's asleep because they'd probably be like you're crazy it's across the street leave her in the car but I don't know we'll see or I'll just take her out and put her on my shoulder. Or like I said, I'll literally wait until I see him come out of the door and then cross over. I can literally see the door from here. But, um, I just came back into the car. I had to go out through the garage, like I said. And I realized I left the eggs in the car from earlier. And they still feel cold, which is weird because it's like really nice out. As you can see, I have my glasses on because the sun is always in my eyes. But, um... I don't know now do they are these bad do eggs go bad that fast so now i have to like check is there a way to check for bad eggs i think so but i'm gonna google it of course but yes yeah, so i'm just gonna sit here and relax for a minute with her she didn't nap today at home because i kind of just didn't put over a nap because we were we got back late and this and that so this little power nap will be enough so that she's not cranky later and she'll probably and she'll go to sleep on time because, of course, I'll wake her up once we get home. So, it's debating on what to do. Take her with me. This is what's happening while 
I cooked dinner. Phoenix is making a mess at my feet. I just sent Avery over there and put her with that for a while because they were both like in my way and I'm frying some chicken and it's like they're in my way and I feel like it's going to splatter on them. My goal, whenever we get a house or our next apartment, I need a big kitchen <laughs> or an open kitchen. So here they are and now I guess he decided to come over here as soon as I vlog that he's been at my feet the whole time. He comes over here. I guess because maybe because Bob the Builder came on now. But this is my, my mess here. Making some broccoli and John will be home soon and then he has a dentist appointment. So I gave this to Phoenix and he's loving that it just that it shows up. So when you first write it doesn't come out. It kind of just shows up. You see? He's loving that. So he wrote with orange. Now he's doing green. Avery had pink and blue and yeah. she just wants to play with that markers. Purple. Wow, you did all the numbers. That looks pretty cool. That looks cool. It does look pretty cool. Like something to hang up. If you left it like that. Uh oh. You're good holding the paper while you're writing, buddy. It looks really art artsy. It's like all the numbers are entwined. The six is sideways. The eight down here. It's pretty cool. Oh. I guess that's another nine. I think that's pretty cool. Right, Avery? Yeah? <laughs> and this is the color wonder stuff I think I already showed you. Oh, now you're going to 11. At least you can write on the same paper over and over and not. Wow, look, you can color on top of the orange. Go get her Where are you going? <laughs> Nobody wants stories tonight. That surprise picnic you planned helped me have a great summer time. How can a toy monkey help it? <laughs> this is, story time never goes as planned. She's trying to. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Say night night. Ready? You want to sing again? Uh oh. No. Oh. Yeah, let's sing. <laughs> One ladybug lounging, two birds are nesting, three chimpanzees playing, four animals foraging, <laughs> five creatures crawling. Six water striders gliding, seven fish are watching, eight chickadees perching, <laughs> nine creatures frolicking, okay, ten minnows swimming, Charlie Hopper, <laughs> 922 to 2007, the sky died. <laughs> Good job, buddy. You read it like daddy? One ladybug lounging. Two birds nesting. Three champions.